Hi there. Now here we have a typical question of a car going round a bend. What we've got then is a car of mass M comes to a bend in the road and the car's path now forms an arc of a horizontal circle of radius 44 metres. And the road is banked at an angle alpha to the horizontal where tan alpha equals 3 quarters. The coefficient of friction between the car and the road is 0.6 and the car moves at its maximum speed without slipping sideways. And in part A we've got to find as a multiple of mg the normal reaction between the car and the road as the car moves round this bend and in part B find the speed of the car as it goes round this bend. So first of all need to draw a sketch and when I'm drawing cars going round bends I tend to draw a side view something like this where we've got the inclined road to the horizontal here and in this example the angle it makes with the horizontal is alpha and we know that tan of alpha equals three quarters so if we were to consider a triangle for alpha there's our angle alpha the opposite side would be three adjacent side four and the hypotenuse 5. So we can use that for our sines, cosines, etc. of alpha. Then I draw the car on the bend. I'm just going to draw a block here just to represent that car, something like that, okay? And so it's moving round a bend where the radius, okay, we just mark it in like so, is 44 meters and because it's moving round a bend there's going to be an acceleration towards the center of that circle so just mark in that acceleration there and because we're dealing with a speed rather than an angular speed then that acceleration a is going to be equal to v squared divided by the radius r in other words, it's going to be v squared divided by 44. Now I need to mark on the forces acting on the car. And there'll be the weight of the car, mg, mg newtons. There'll be a normal contact force, okay? So that's going to be acting perpendicular then to the plane here. And so I'll call that r, r newtons. There's also going to be friction. As this moves round the bend, the faster it goes, the more it's going to want to slide up the bank here. We're told that it doesn't actually slide, but it is going at its maximum speed. So friction will be acting to oppose that. It'll be acting back down the slope. And it will just be on that point of slipping. So it will be equal to mu times r, mu r newtons then. So that's the forces. Also I'd want to just put in a few angles here. If I draw a dotted line there, okay, then this angle in here is going to be alpha. When you're dealing with cars going round banks, what we're going to end up doing is looking at resolving vertically and resolving horizontally into the centre of the circle. That's generally the standard way that we do these kinds of questions. So if I draw another dotted line to the vertical here, then should be able to see that this angle in here will also be alpha. Okay, just put that in as alpha there. And if I draw a dotted line there, then this angle here will be alpha as well. We're going to need those when it comes to the resolving. So for part A then, find as a multiple of mg the normal reaction between the car and road as the car moves around this bend. In other words, find out what R is. And what we do then for part A is to resolve vertically. And if I resolve vertically, then the component of the normal reaction is going to be R cosine alpha. We've got the 
component of friction acting downwards, which is going to be minus mu r sine alpha. So I'm just going to write mu as 0 0.6, and then we've got r, and then we've got sine alpha. We've also got the weight acting downwards, so that's going to be minus mg, and it's basically in relative equilibrium in this vertical sense, so it's going to be equal to zero. So filling in our values for cosine alpha and sine alpha, we're going to have r times the cosine of alpha, which is four fifths. So you therefore got four fifths r. And then we've got minus 0 0.6, which I'm going to take as three fifths times sine of alpha. Sine of alpha is another three fifths, opposite over hypotenuse there. So you've got three fifths times another three fifths, which is going to be nine twenty fifths. So nine twenty fifths are for that one. And then if I add mg to both sides, that's going to equal mg. Now four fifths are minus nine twenty fifths are. Well, that gives me 11 25ths r, so it follows that we've got 11 25ths r equals mg. So rearranging this for r, we therefore have that that normal contact force r is 25 11ths mg, okay, a multiple of mg. So that's part A done then. Now for part B, find the speed of the car as it goes round this bend. In other words, find out what V is. And we can do this by resolving in towards the centre of the circle. So if we resolve in towards the centre of the circle, then the component of this normal reaction R towards the centre is going to be R sine alpha. Then we've got the component of friction towards the centre, which is going to be mu r cos alpha. So mu then is 0 0.6. So you've got 0 0.6 times r times cosine of alpha. And obviously the weight doesn't come into this because it's perpendicular to the direction. That force is going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration, which is going to be v squared divided by the radius, which is... 44. Okay, so we've got v squared over 44 there. So again, if we put in our values for sine alpha and cosine alpha, r sine alpha will be r times 3 fifths, so that's going to be 3 fifths r. And then we've got 0 0.6, I'll take that as 3 fifths, 3 fifths times cosine of alpha, cosine of alpha is 4 fifths, so you're going to end up with plus 12 20 fifths of r and then this is going to be equal to m times v squared over 44. So adding these two together gives us a total of 27 twenty fifths. So it's 27 twenty fifths of r equals m v squared over 44. And all I need to do now is just substitute my value for r in that I got up here, 25 eleventh mg, rearrange this for v squared, and then take the square root to both sides. I'll see that v will equal the square root then of 27 over 25 times r, r being 25 elevenths okay of mg and then we would multiply by 44 and divide by that m and if we clean this up i can see that lots of things will cancel out the m's for instance cancel one another out the 11 goes into the 44 four times and the 25's cancel and so what i'm left with is 27 times g times 4 all rooted and if you do that you should find you get 32.53 and so on and if we round this to say three significant figures it's 32.5 meters per second to three 
significant figures, 3SF for short. Okay, so I hope it's giving you some idea on how to tackle questions where we've got cars going round the bend.